Andy, an eventful day uh, around the football, an excellent result with the football. Yeah, I thought we was uh, excellent today. I thought we showed resilience, we showed character after the midweek, um, and we showed team spirit, uh, which we got in, in abundance. And so there's some good performances there today. Um, Jude Arthur, man of the match for me today, went in as the number four because we had three number fours all out injured, and uh, he was superb. Was fair play to Jude Arthur. I thought he'd done everything a number four should do in there today, and um, there were some good performances. And, and look, I keep saying that we've got a team that uh, has got a heart and, um, and represents myself and my staff. And uh, you know, I, I'm buzzing. You know, buzzing the way they went about their business today wasn't an easy game. Anyone at home would probably think, oh, 4-1, it must have been easy. That was proper dogged defending there. Um, putting bodies on the line and, um, yeah, being clinical the other end. That's, you know, that's something I've been a little bit critical of them and uh, fair play to them. They've answered me today. And they always answer me. Uh, you know, that's what I love about this group of players. They always answer me when I throw them a question or throw them a doubt and, um, and, and they, they've come up with the goods again today away at Hartlepool which is, everyone says, coming up north, southern boys, don't fancy it. We have all that chucked at us. Well, I thought we was excellent today, even though you two look like you're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> well, going um, ahead early on in the first five minutes again, but completely different to, to Tuesday. Yeah, look, we've, we learned from Tuesday. Look, I think we've got to just park Tuesday and put it in isolation. There was things that were wrong Tuesday, but not overall. It was just some mistakes and cost us, you know. So let's park that. Tuesday's gone. That was isolation. Today, they come back to 2-1. I didn't see any panic in our team. I didn't see our team sitting back and thinking, oh, this is not for us. I saw a team thinking, OK, no problem, we'll go again. And uh, we went and got three and then four. And um, I thought, fair play to fair play to us. I thought we were really good. I must mention John Askey, the manager of Hartlepool as well, by the way, Matt, uh, because I've, I've learned a, a really valuable lesson from him today. Um, very sportsmanlike um, and showed a real touch of class. And I'm not saying this with any sort of um, uh, sort of after the event because we won. That floodlight went out today. For, well, it was out all the game. So at half time, he could have quite easily said the game can't go on 2-0. Uh, and um, he was extremely sporting, I thought, and said, no, let's play the game and fair play to him. He, he might have thought that we was going to throw a 2-0 lead away. But that joke aside, I, I, I felt that, that, that was a lesson learned for me from a an experienced manager there and um, I, I want to just show him the respect and gratitude he deserves for being honest. They started the second half well, Hartlepool got the goal early, but a brilliant response and a great build up to <coughs> the goal. Yeah, I think you've got to get your head around this. You know, you come to any club and if you go in to tune you up, you're not going to come out and then just have it all your own way second half as well. There's going to be a reaction. You know, we've done it when I have my team's been down and you get around the team and you get a reaction out of them. You have to weather that little period. Um, and and they scored and then and then we looked like you know we was back on the front foot and we worked and grafted. There wasn't a player out there today. I mean the two young centre halves, De Deji and um, and Shinny, they've played up against two really good experienced players up there today and they've had a real good learning lesson and they dealt with it really well. There were some difficult moments but they they they've come up come of age. Those two boys, excellent, I thought. And uh, Olamola in the last minute as well with a brilliant breakaway goal, just to wrap it up. Yeah, and I'm I'm delighted for for Fella. He's um he's coming to us. He's added to us. He's got goals for us, which I've said to him about. He's been left out. He could quite easily sulk. We haven't got that culture here. Bin Pebble, been excellent. You know, Kido, all these boys. They know that their time's going to come at some point. And we got that we got that around the group. If someone's out the team, they're going to come in and make a difference. So fair play to them and fair play to Bella. And as you say, issues uh, away from the pitch, out of our control today. Um, but everyone who stepped up, you know, reflecting yeah, the injuries, look, did a I great think, job. I think it's important we tell people what's happened today. You know, we've uh, we've had a coach breakdown. We've had to come here by Ubers, um, which is insane. Um, my my staff and my players have had all their strappings done at the hotel. Um, we've had to come across in hotel. In kit, it's like just been you. I can't even start to tell you how unprofessional today's been. Um, but we've got a mantra here: uh, no excuse culture, and uh, and that's come from me, and my staff, and and we've reflected that with the way we performed, and, and the boys don't have any excuses. And that's why the other night, you know, we had no excuses. We knew what went wrong, and we've repaired it today. Uh, the floodlight's gone out, so we just got to hope we get home safe now. So don't we don't get the hat trick of things going wrong. <laughs> And uh, what a way to entertain the brilliant travelling support. I'm I can't believe I'm near here today. I mean, this is no easy journey up here, Matt. Um, so fair play to our supporters. And it's lovely when you get the chance to 
put a performance in like that and give them the result that they want. Um, so that's that's you know that's good and, and obviously the results have gone nicely for us today and we're sitting up. I've been told we're sitting in second. So so yeah, it's, um, it's it's a it's been a good day to be a Bromley manager and a Bromley supporter and a Bromley player. And finally, would you say that's one of our most complete performances of the season so far? No. I'm never happy, am I? <laughs> never. I always want a bit more, but I'm happy with my group of players. I've got a brilliant, brilliant group of players and and um, I, I couldn't be any more proud of them. I've got staff that work their socks off. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I, I'm in a good place with, with everything around me and everything's right. Andy, thanks for your time. Thank you.